Hi, I'm Cher Weinraub. I'm here to share my story with you that started 25 years ago in a salon. One afternoon, a woman walked into our salon with a broken nail, and she mentioned that she needed it repaired. So as I was looking for an appointment to try to get her in with one of our nail technicians, she leaned over the desk and said to me, how can you stand to work here? I looked at her and I said, excuse me? She said, it stinks in here. I said, what can I tell you? You're smelling money. You know, the odors and the chemicals and all the materials that we used to serve 35 customers permeated the entire environment. 25 years ago, there was no regulations or qualities set forth for air quality in an environment. But we were very cognizant of the fact that we needed to do something and had attempted to lash in some of those odors that we created. But she said she had something out in her car that she could bring in that could help. She went outside, came back with a box about this big, plugged it in and told me that she was not asking me to buy it, she was asking me to try it. And it could help with the odors and gases in our salon. So she plugged it in and told me I had three days to try it. She left. My husband, who was the salon hair designer, not me, was working with a client at that chair. And the woman was processing with bleach on her head, all wrapped up. And ladies, if you know what bleach used to smell like, it was permeating everywhere. David had aluminum foil on her glass stems so that she could read her book in that chair. And he said to me, what is that? And pointed to this box that was blowing air up on the shelf that the lady had plugged in and told me to try for three days. I said, I don't know. This lady came in, she told us to try it for three days. It should help eliminate some of the odors in here. He said, well, who makes that thing? And I said, I don't know. He said, well, how much does it cost? I said, I don't know. And you have to understand, I'm the answer woman. I always know answers. Then he said, well, what's it supposed to do? Again, I said, I don't know. He said, well, I know one thing. You need to go over there and smell the customer's head because there's no chemicals at her head. None. So I walked over to uh, the chair and the woman was reading her book and pretty soon she heard me <laughs> sniffling trying to figure why I couldn't smell any odor right on her head that should be there. And she said, what are you doing? I said, David told me to come over here and smell your head. She said, you know, I've been coming here for nine years. Something's different. He used something different. I looked at David. He goes, same thing I've always used for nine years. He said, it's that thing. He said, you need to find out who makes that and sell it to the professional beauty industry. Do you remember what your New Year's resolution was? Just a few weeks prior to February 2nd, 25 years ago, right now, David and I were on vacation in St. Martin, and he asked me what my New Year's resolution was. I told him without even thinking about it, it just came out of my mouth, you know, next year at this time, David, I do not want to own an adult daycare center any longer. That's what I used to call a salon, my adult daycare center. Because everybody would bark about things not being perfect. You know, someone took someone's scissors. There wasn't any toilet paper in the bathroom. You know, all the things you have to put up with when you're a salon owner. And he said, well, what in the world would you do if you didn't help me with this environment? I said, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell something to the beauty industry. He said, really? Interesting. Be careful what you wish for, because six weeks later, the woman that walked in our salon changed our life, my life, and thousands and thousands of people's lives, all because she plugged in something, told me she wasn't asking me to buy it, she was asking me to try it, and we recognized the difference it made in our salon immediately. It was like someone opened up the rooftop during the night when we came in the next morning, smelled like the top of the mountains in Colorado. We couldn't believe the difference one night made, getting rid of years and years and years of odors that had built up, and we were sold. We were sold on the fact that we had something that no one else had that everyone needed, and we couldn't wait to share it with people. When I tell you it impacted me, how it impacted me, I can't even begin to stand here and tell you stories about what it's done for people all over the world. We ended up taking Bill's product to 
I don't know, 60 some countries. Uh, one of my largest countries I ever shared this project with were groups of people in Russia. Russia. Now, of course, I didn't speak the language. Boy, they have great fur coats over there, I got to tell you. <laughs> and it, they were the most friendliest, wonderful people. And of course, there's something in Russia that people do way more than we do here these days, and that's smoke. Everybody smoked everywhere. And how it helped with so many respiratory problems people had there was quite amazing to witness. And the, the company then went on after Bill retired to different levels. And you know, I, I still stayed with them all these years. And three years ago, my life was changed once again. I got a call from Bill Halloween time three years ago. And he called and said, uh, I'm bored, Cher. Now, we kept in touch over the years. Eva Converse, right back here, Bill's wife. Uh, we stayed in touch all those years. And, um, you know, so it wasn't a surprise that Bill was calling me out of the blue because we chatted a lot. But this time his voice was different. He said, I'm bored. I am just not done yet. He said, I have tinkered with my original technology. Again, it was a box about this big, like he described. He said, and now I'm going to send you something. I think you might like, and I really value your opinion, and uh, I would like you to tell me what you think. So about four, three, three, four days later, I went out to my mailbox, and there's a box, six by six by six, and I see Bill's return address on it, and I'm thinking, gee, I wonder what this is. Remember, I was expecting something like this. And I open up the box, and this doodad was in it, and I just, out loud, I go, oh, come on. <laughs> what is this? So I go in, and I dial him up on my phone, and I go, Bill, really? This is what you wanted to send me? He goes, let me ask you something. Do you have a smartphone? I go, yeah. He said, really? You know, think about what a smartphone does compared to a big old CPU that sits on the floor for your computer, or the bag phone that we all used to have years back. They cost like $2 a minute to talk on the phone. Or when I got started with this company, uh, the fax machine that had roll paper, you know, those kind of things. He said, you call me after you plug it in and then tell me what you think. I said, okay, fair enough. So I go plug it in and it just blew my mind that he could take the technology that he invented in 1988 and bring it down to something that was affordable for everyone to have in their home for under $100. I couldn't believe what it did. And for those of you that have not experienced this yet, I want to actually show you what really proved it to me. I need a volunteer. Who would like to come up here? Some handsome man. Come on. Don't be shy. And what is your name? Handsome. Yeah, what's your name? Sonny. Hey, Sonny. I'm Cher. Oh, this is... <laughs> Sonny, it's the Sonny and Cher show. <laughs> okay, Sonny, I'm going to ask you to hold that for me so I can talk you to it. Uh, Bill has invented not only... Well, it's one unit, but notice there's two versions. One plugs right into the wall, and one has a 10-foot cord. The one with the 10-foot cord is also then adaptable to go right into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle, your RV, your boat, your airplane, whatever you have that can have one of these plugs, a camper. It's very versatile. And so it's got, there's no on and off switch. It's designed to run all the time. And there's three settings. There's a low and a medium. And then what I call holy cow, when it goes all the way to high, because Every time someone smells this, what do you smell? Good. Fresh air? Mm -hmm. Okay, usually people will go, holy cow, that thing's little. That smells so good. So that's the holy cow buttons all the way over. Okay, now, Sonny, I'm going to take a little bit of ammonia here. This is our ammonia demonstration tool. You just put a tiny, tiny drop about the size of a, oops, not even, about the size of a dime on a napkin. Well, it kind of did spread to about the size of a nickel. Okay. 
And so what you do then, oh, you have the person take a whiff. Be careful, it's ammonia. Yeah? How about that side? No? Charles, what kind of ammonia did you buy? <laughs> Ooh, it's there. You sure you, you can't smell that? All right, let me make, let me put a little more on there. My socks off. <laughs> okay, now take a look. Ooh, okay, all right. So more is better in some cases. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to let this cook for a few minutes here just to illustrate for you. Do you have a cat at home? No? But you're aware of when you go to someone's house and you can experience cat odor? Okay, did that kind of smell like this? Okay, or baby diapers or something? Okay, no more babies. Okay. <laughs> well, what this is doing is actually neutralizing the chemical makeup of the ammonia and destroying it so all that's left is water vapor, moisture vapor. You know, because I had to do an extra douse, this is taking a little longer. Ooh, it's still there. Okay, usually when you put a little bitty drop in 10 seconds, it's totally gone. But Sonny and Cher, I couldn't have picked anybody better. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, is that better? Okay, and notice it's still wet. Go ahead and touch that. So it's still ammonia, but the chemical makeup of the ammonia, like you heard Bill talk about how it neutralizes the air, is gone. So if you were to take one of these, these products into someone's home and they're kind of standing there, you know, doing one of these, like, uh, you know, do you really think this is going to work? Show them this and then let them try it. Think you can do that? We can do it. All right, cool. I want to report. Thank you, Sonny. <laughs> Give Sonny a hand. <laughs> So when I realized what Bill had created and shrunk, honey, I shrunk the device. <laughs> Is that what he told you, Eva? <laughs> um, I realized that, you know, there's so many people that need what he has that couldn't afford the $600 unit that then turned into $800 over those 25 years that this is something that everybody needed and not hardly anybody has. So as Bill's talking to me about what it could do and it takes only three watts of power and it's you know, very low cost to operate, he said to me, uh, Sherry, you know, you were one of our leading um, uh, leaders in the old company and I really value your opinion. Would you do me a favor and pick me a niche? Where should we take this to test it before we take it out to the masses? Well, that morning, I happened to hear on television that Americans spent $330 million on Halloween costumes for their pets. So when he asked me to pick a niche, out of my mouth came, how about the pet industry? And he said, why? And I told him what I had heard on TV that morning, and he said, well, do some research. Let me know, you know if, if that's really feasible. Well, my thought was, if Americans spent that kind of money on pet Halloween costumes, what would they spend on odor control? Think about that. So I did some research and, and did my due diligence and went to my favorite uh, pet grooming, pet store, pet resort place on Hilton Head and uh, asked my friend that owned it what she thought of this. She told me, you know, Cher, you need to take that and expose it to the pet buyers, people like me that own a pet store, that could sell these to people. She said, every single day I have people come in telling me they adopted a cat and little Johnny can't live in the house with the cat because he's got allergies, so they got to take the cat back. You know how many cats' lives you could save by letting him stay in the house and keeping the kids and the parents happy too? So she said, what you need to do, what you need to do is go out to the International Pet Show and introduce this product to the buyers. And I said, okay, when is that show? She said, well, call the number. We got the last booth at this pet show. Now, it was about nine football fields. It was this huge place in Las Vegas. And, of course, the last booth was way in the North 40. We were back where they were dying the poodles pink. Okay, way in the back. And Bill and I looked at each other like, who is going to find us back here? 
Well, we didn't need everybody to find us. We just needed the right people to find us. Like you guys, you're the right people being in the right place at the right time right now to hear this message. So we got, uh, got in line to get our name badges to get into the show, and someone told us about something called the New Product Showcase. And the New Product Showcase is where all the people with new products could have a little 24-inch little place where you could put your product, say your booth number, so the buyers that came through could find you in that sea of thousands and thousands of new products. And they also were given a, you know, like a uh, application with their name, and as they came through, they had to vote for the best new products at that show. There were 3,300 products that July 2012, and guess what? We took not only first place, but second place, because we entered our product in both the cat and the dog section. I figured one's good, two might be better. Can you believe when the second day of the show, they walked up to our booth with this trophy and what's this? Well, congratulations, you won first, and the other gal goes, and second place. We were like stunned, and we were way in the back. No one could find us except the people that needed to. We somehow that day got connected with the right public relations people that got the name of Critter Zone out into the marketplace. That's the name of the product that we designed for the pet industry. It's the same lady as same lady in a different dress. Looks just like this, but the name is Critter Zone. Optimized just for the pet industry. And the next thing that happened was amazing exposure. We got Bill on radio talk shows, television shows. Uh, the PR people we work with are out of New York City, and they had major connections all over the country for all the who's who in the pet industry. And we used that, those few years as a proving ground before we introduced Air Restore to the direct sales team to um, take it to the masses, which of course that also then allowed us the opportunity to have the income to bring the manufacturing back from China to the United States, back to Greenville, Tennessee. And I'm so blessed to, to have been able to uh, receive that phone call that day, Eva, from your husband to kind of made me feel like the chosen one to have a responsibility to take his dream and get it back out there again. You know, that day I dusted off my dreams and thought, who else can I help feel like I do every morning when I wake up? You know, my mantra in the morning when I wake, wake up is, and I'm surprised my husband hasn't painted this on the ceiling in our bedroom yet, hope, H-O-P-E. To me, that means helping other people every day. If I figure if I can help enough people get what they want, then I get what I want. It's hard to believe 25 years later, I'm back with Bill Converse sharing the Air Restore product and opportunity with people now all across America. You know, it's so touching to me to know that my life totally changed that day someone walked into our salon and shared this product with me. Just like you can go out and share this product with people who changed their lives, changed the lives of thousands of people like we've done over all these years, all over the world, by simply sharing the product, letting someone experience it and decide for themselves if they would like to join us in this mission. Please join us in sharing this product and the opportunity with people all over America. We're looking for an army to take the product out, share the opportunity, change people's lives, make a difference in people's health and wealth. Will you join us? We're looking for foot soldiers, sergeants, corporals, however you want to join us. We need people to share this opportunity. Please join us and get back to the person that shared this video with you.